So today we talked about parallel transport. If you have two vectors and normally transform the plane, whether you scale it up or you shear it or you just move the vectors, then they're still going to end up parallel either way. But if you try mapping this flat coordinate plane onto, say, a manifold, like a sphere, a curved manifold, then these two vectors are no longer going to end up being parallel. Their directions are eventually going to meet somewhere. So this is called parallel transport, and it can be described by curvature, and most of the importance lies in this one symbol called the Christoffel symbol, which I believe, I don't exactly remember, but I believe it's half z gamma gamma times a uh, partial partial alpha z uh, beta gamma plus partial beta z gamma alpha minus partial gamma z alpha beta. So this is the geodesic, uh, no, this is the definition of the Christoffel delta, which determines curvature and thus how parallel transport works. So that's pretty much what we learned today, and that's what we discussed.